Hey everybody, how's it going? So, gosh, it's been a minute, right? Uh, so much time's passed since I've posted a video or posted new pieces. Um, I've got a lot of new cabs here ready to go. Um, and I thought it would be a good time to go ahead and make a video, uh, kind of a reboot video of what I've been up to, the new stuff, uh, all the new equipment, the casting equipment, and all these new processes I'm working with. I mean, I'm the main goal is trying to pull these this ore out of the mountains myself and process it, separate it, and it's been working well. So gold, silver, um, with the new blue bowl concentrator, um, sluice box set up that I can run through in my garage here, uh, or in my cab lab. <laughs> and um, just kind of separate and melt down and make my own metals uh, pure to where I can cast my own settings um, and make it legit start to finish um, with the setting included. So those are things I've been working on with a lot more. It's been a while, like I said, but quick video just as a reboot show you some of the new pieces that are about to come up uh, i'm excited about uh, opals turquoise uh, really cool settings as well uh, also mineral cleaning i'm working on mineral points and uh, finding my own specimens to where i can clean them and make them nice display pieces um, so a lot of videos to come on individual things but for this one quick run around and we'll go from there. So thanks guys and uh, we'll go ahead and hit it. All right. All right, so first I guess I better start off with some of the pieces that I have up and uh, some of the pieces I'm working on. I do have a new lapis piece that I'm excited about. Um, this one is about to get set. Uh, we're into the sterling setting here. Um, really cool piece. Uh, lapis, you know, you have that beautiful, vibrant blue, um, but also there's pyrite in it as well. So, um, if I can get it to focus there. Focus. <laughs> there we go. So, um, that one's nice. Some other other pieces that I already have online, but or coming online, uh, rings, earrings, uh, things like that. So, um, as far as the heavy metal separations, uh, I've been working with a lot of, uh, well, just doing my chemistry and separating these metals, uh, precipitating them out to to fine or as near as pure as possible. Um, to make bars that I can eventually inject my own molds and make my own settings. Um, one of the main pieces for the fines is the blue bowl concentrator. Um, that's been excellent so far. More videos on that to come for sure. Um, but uh, for mineral cleaning, um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this around here and show you guys all right there we go so uh just to show you guys um this is a beautiful great great bagot piece and I'll, I'll try to put up a before and after i know i have some pictures of this before but it was just coated and caked in calcite and grime and clays and it just needed a really good deep cleaning but it's turning out beautiful now um also i have a, a whole bunch of quartz crystals that are rough that are turning out beautiful that one still needs a little bit of cleaning but you can see I mean coming from actually here's one of the rough pieces so the difference um, making nice display pieces that's been in uh, a great 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 fun for me um so basically 
I'm trying to evolve into step-by-step, -step, start to finish with the settings included, um, but also get into other things, get into injection molds, get into um, metal casting, metallurgy, um, but also different stones, um, trying to invest in some different stuff, different material that um, seems to be what people are looking for. Um, so turquoise, opals, uh, Ethiopian opals, Australian opals, um, that my good buddy Britton actually, thanks buddy, <laughs> he hooked it up with, we made some trade and, uh, and they're working great. So I can't wait to show you guys those. Here's one that's working right now. Um, from one of the videos, I, I believe I will show you this one. Uh, that I've been working on the flat lap here, but anyways, it'll be going in that setting there with cubic zirconium around it and also this one now this setting <laughs> I don't know Who was in the right mind, but I won't even say What stone was in it, but it was really shabby and it's a beautiful I think beautiful turquoise or a beautiful sterling setting um, so I'm trying to fit that turquoise from New Mexico in it which will be I think a perfect fit so we'll see how that turns out also uh, mineral points like I said that that's one thing that I want to get into as well I just think they're cool and I'm kind of freehanding this so another cool piece I found this one in the front range of Colorado which I was under the impression that beautiful fluorites like that were not available in this area, but um, it's almost like a rainbow look too. Beautiful, vibrant greens as well in that fluorite. So I have tons of that. So now that I have this piece cut and I'm looking at them, kind of thinking a little bit, but um, moving on here. so. This is where I'm separating the, the metals, uh, but it just kind of a reboot. I mean, the Naycraft, the, the new slab saw, uh, Kaya cast system, all the casting equipment and all the material I have to work with. Just super excited now to get this going again. Um, now I have been working hard at work, but I've been working hard here to get this back up and going and doing it right and um, trying to collect a lot more material to work with uh, to get a more uh, a broader variety of, of pieces out there so I hope you guys all enjoy it like I said plenty more videos to come um, of individual processes I'm working with um, hopefully it all turns out well real quick and we'll get some of those cabs up right away as well. Uh, but thank you all and we'll see you soon.